Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is going to be an Aries weekly money and career reading from November 11th to the 17th, 2024. Aries, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aries weekly <clears throat> money and career, November 11th to the 17th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of November. The name of the free reading for October was announced in today's a live reading. So if you want to check that out, check if you're the happy one. All right, let's get started. Grab your best headphones, earbuds for a better sound, Aries. And let's begin. I'm going to pull one oracle card to see what we need to know, what the root of the matter is for this upcoming week. What is the message? What do we need to know for Aries Weekly Money and Career, November 11th to the 17th? 17th? Uh, what do we need to know? What is the message? Okay, we have a little manipulation there or something that has been hidden that hasn't been said or people taking advantage of a situation. Hmm. Let's see what this is all about. Aries. Or try and take advantage of you. Let's see what this is all about, Aries. Um, let's try to connect the dots with tarot. We have a king of cups here. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But... I feel like it's you, stable, emotionally stable, calm, remaining calm no matter what. Yep, victory over that. You're leading a team. You're rewarded. You're promoted. You're, um, you're excited and proud of what you've accomplished or proud of who you are, right? And with this King of Cups, this is really about you being emotionally balanced. Maybe a little bit more compassionate than you are usually. Maybe a little bit more diplomatic than you are usually within your conversations, the meetings, whatever this is regarding. Let's see, let's continue. Yes, we have the hangman. You've been waiting for something patiently. Maybe you've been tied to a contract, tied to a job, a company, a way of working or something. Or, or maybe you felt sort of stuck and blocked or not able to figure something out or to make decisions or not really understanding the situation and not really comprehending, connecting. And there with the hangman, when we have, when the hangman shows up, it's really about understanding that whatever we're feeling, whether we're feeling like it's going nowhere, or we're not really understanding the situation, or we're not able to communicate, or we're not getting the answers or the truth, right? Maybe you have thoughts on, you know, people manipulating the situation or something that wasn't told to you, something that will might will might be revealed. It doesn't really matter because it's, it feels like you are the one that maybe had that one vision path or wanting to wanted to do something one way, something like that, right? And with the hangman is it's about understanding that it's time to take a step back to assess, to reassess where you are in your job, why it was like that, why the meeting was like that, or why the interviews are like that, or why it is that you just are not able to progress 
or develop a subject or to communicate the way you want it or the way you want. That's what the hangman is all about, assessing and really understanding that it's time to maybe process things differently or see things from a different angle. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Abundance. So maybe the fact that you're reassessing or assessing a decision, a development in your career, in your job, whatever it is, it feels like here um, after reflection or after taking a different stance or approaching it differently or seeing it from a different angle, whatever it is, it's bringing you more ambition, but also more security, more success, success in a creative task that maybe you've been trying to do for a while, develop something, maybe you're writing, maybe you're creating, it doesn't have to be that. You're developing something or you're working on something or you're trying to progress forward on something, right? This is <coughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. It can be someone, a patriarch or someone you look up to or someone very financially stable, um, but also or a business person that's very, very reliable. So either you're very reliable or someone else is very reliable. Whatever it is, there's a lot of ambition there. And it's all about money, satisfaction, that the gain of money, right? Money's very important here. People talk about money. People want more money. Well, of course, a lot of people want more money. But what I mean is it's the main focus. The ambition is money. It's not people, it's not connections, or it can be connections and networks, but for financial gain. It's all about financial gain and nothing else. That's a little bit what the King of Pentacles is all about. It's like that confident, that confident person that really knows how to manage wealth or make money or um, identify opportunities for growth, success, whatever. Someone very disciplined in investing uh, investing themselves or investing long-term in viable projects that will bring in money. So is this someone you're connected to? Is this you? Comment down below, Aries. Let me know what it is. But because it feels like you want to transform something. You want to be part of a vision. You want to be part of a business. You want to make money, right? Um, you're working very hard for the success or they are working very hard or have worked very hard to get where they are. They, they have money. So if it's not you, they, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, have money. Substantial about amounts of money. And then we have the Ten of Cups. And that's bringing harmony. That's bringing you satisfaction, happiness in your home. Bringing harmony in your home. Wait, let me... These cards are just popping out, but I want to call them. Because I feel like I'm going to stick... And I'm going to keep at that. And now I would like to clarify. What is this manipulation? Is this... This king of pentacles that's manipulating you, that's hiding something from you. Is this a businessman? Is this a business partner or a, a network that you have or a company or your boss? What is this? What is this trust, mistrust or manipulation or dissimulation? Maybe dissimulating facts or something you didn't know. What is this little mouse all about? Why is the mouse here? for Aries weekly money and career November 11th to the 17th okay there's a new journey there so you're detaching yourself from that mouse you don't want to be yep there we go we don't you don't want to be in that obligation anymore you don't want to be bound you want your freedom you want your freedom you don't want to be bound to those contracts 
bound to that toxic environment or those obligations or that person that sort of sealed you in to that business deal or something like that. Now, here's that sense of freedom with the, um, with the fool, no longer wanting to be under that, those obligations or under that, <coughs> that boss or that manager or that person. Hold on, let me just grab a little tea. This is someone that's not very, <coughs> oops, sorry, I'm spilling my tea. Um, this is someone you want your freedom from. You want to go your own way or you want your independence or maybe you want to be freelance or something like that. Um, you don't want to be tied to these obligations anymore. You're taking back your freedom or gaining your freedom. Okay. Uh, why is the... Okay, well, that, I was going to say, why is the devil here? Yes, because there's, there, there's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. There's a revelation. There's your truth coming out. Can be a conversation. Can be something that was dissimulated. And here we have the death card, the renewal, letting it go, letting it go. Wow. There's your breakthrough. Um... It's really about understanding what happened or what they dissimulated or what, you know, what was this all about? And because of this Ace of Swords, um, you're understanding that, you know, your decision is going to be about not only letting go, but rebuilding that rebirth out of the ashes, letting it go. And you're, you're really gaining clarity on this. It, this can be about a new idea. Uh, this, this is success. This is success, but it's also success in letting go. No longer being part of this, no longer wanting to be part of this, part of this job, part of this equation, part of this business, or, you know, working with this business person, maybe you don't want to be part of that anymore. Interesting. So that's what the hang, uh, the hangman, well, yes, you have the hangman, but it's also about, you know, finally, um, if this is a project that has been on hold or you've been waiting or it's not going the way you want or you didn't get your answers, here you're getting your answers. Here's you're getting your truth. And then you don't want to be part of it anymore. You don't want to work there anymore. Or you don't want to partner up with this person anymore, whatever it is. That's what the hangman is all about. Maybe there's a reorganization or it's, it's really about um, maybe there, you were waiting for finances but it's really about uh, utilizing this time to, you know, gain a new perspective. And because we have the death card, yes, it's a major change. Um, maybe it's forcing you to move in a, in a total new direction, changing careers, moving jobs, moving houses, moving places. That is a possibility. All right, I'm going to change decks and I'm going to come over to this King of Pentacles because I feel like this King of Pentacles is about this. I, I just want to know if you're detaching yourself from this King of Pentacles, this businessman, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or if this is the person bringing you back into the game. So let's see. We have cards that just popped out. The past... And the Queen of Pentacles, so we have King and Queen of Pentacles, very strategic, abundant, all about money from the past, and uh, there's an emotional attachment to this person. So you can have an, an, an emotional attachment to these two people. This can be um, partners or uh, life partners, right? Um, there's a certain attachment to this person. 
Okay, one more card on this King of Pentacles. There we go. Yeah, you're getting a truth on that. And there's, and, and yeah, disappointment, disappointment. So I feel like if this is a person you're emotionally attached to, a soul partner or a friend or a family member or a coworker or, or, or some, or a business partner, someone you're working with or someone that's in, maybe even in your family, um, that you're disappointed in. You're disappointed maybe in a truth they're telling you or, their business decision, their career decision, or their attachment to certain ways, and they're revealing a side of them that you didn't know, we have the King of Swords. So that's really you or them, because you have the Four of Cups. So you're bored with this already. You're done with this already. You're disappointed. It's not enough. You're frustrated. Um. So the discussions they're having with you are very clear, very blunt, very matter of fact. And you're you're you don't want to deal with them anymore. Yeah. Yeah. There's an offer there, you feel stuck, and they're double the death card. So there, there's the big change. So yes, their conversations may be harsh or very matter of fact conversations, but it's a breakthrough conversation. And it's probably something that you, um, I, I don't know if you're waiting for that, but if you weren't waiting for it or you weren't aware, you certainly were stuck in a dynamic that wasn't working for you or it's not working for you with the hangman, right? So it's either a project that's on hold, a career that's on hold, uh, a job or a connection, a partnership that were answers you're waiting for that's been on hold. So yes, either that's something you're waiting for, waiting for the answers. What's going on? What are we doing here? Why is this going nowhere or not going the way it's we had planned? So it's either reorganizing or it's a whole new perspective. And I think it's a whole new perspective because we have two times the death card. Understanding to let go. Understanding that it's not for you, not serving you, or certain ideas are not serving you. It doesn't mean the whole thing is scrapped, but it means that the direction you were going into, the person you trusted or the people you trusted for a specific development idea or career or job uh, that's not working, right? And so here, it's about letting go of that. Letting go something that is no longer serving you. And it doesn't mean it didn't work before. And it doesn't mean it's all bad people. And it doesn't mean they're, you know, everything's bad. It just means that you're flipping the script. And you're understanding that there's certain things you just have to let go, let be in the past. That you know, they're blocking your energy. It's not something that is going to work for you. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. Um, am I shifting cards again? <coughs> okay. But so now you have, now that you're letting go, it's a new cycle. It's a new chapter. Let me grab a little tea. <laughs> Because look, you do have the Six of Wands and you have the Ten of Cups, which is victory, rewarded, uh, proud, and finding balance and harmony in your home. So whatever you're letting go is good for you. And it's shifting your perspective or your energies. All right, what is this? I want to know what this Six of uh wands is all about what is it you're proud of what is it you're rewarded for and again we have <laughs> look at that these are reappearing king of pentacles queen of pentacles uh, they are very prominent in your reading these are two people can be the same person right someone amping up financially someone starting with very good pragmatic decisions, strategizing, finding solutions, moving forward in a very practical way, knows how to move forward and figure things out. 
and then abundance coming in and we have the ten of wands so that tells me that these people are very prominent very important in your life um and that you're very passionate and very excited for what they've accomplished you want to be part of that are you part of that because it seems like you're letting go so are you under okay there uh-huh so you're disappointed in them very passionate people people with prominent careers and done hmm I think that you're proud of, yeah, you're proud of, look at that, proud of understanding, clearing something. You're very proud of understanding that you've identified why it was not working or identified how you can communicate better, listen better, because you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yes, it can be air signs, earth signs, water signs all around you. But for me, this is you having victory over yourself and proud of yourself of listening, listening to all the facts, even though it's hurtful, even though it's something that you might not be used to, hangman, that, you know, to check things out in a different way and to have a different perspective and to listen to people and to listen what to what they have to say, you're proud. You're proud. And I think that that is going, is giving you balance. And maybe these are people influencing you. I'm, they're not, it's not, it's not about being bad. It, it's about you being attached to certain ways and having that one vision, that one vision that is really um, uh, blocking other points of view or other opportunities, or right? And since you, it's like having a tunnel vision in your career. And this tunnel vision <clears throat> sometimes works fantastically and gives you success and abundance and you're on the highway and you're just you there's no stopping you you're very successful and ambitious and some ways sometimes it's too much of a tunnel vision so you don't listen to anybody or you don't have any option any other options because you only have one tunnel vision so anybody that comes in that offers maybe you're, you're on the bottom of the deck and that's saying everything is that you're not very flexible, right? And so here, it's not that you're not successful and it's not that you're not ambitious. It's just that you went too far in that tunnel vision on a certain energy. Maybe it's a business project. Maybe it's your job. Maybe it's a business, right? Whatever, whatever you're working on. If this is something you connect with, these are people that even though you've been maybe heartbroken or disappointed or at one point maybe not wanting to work with them anymore, well, it's also because it's a toxic energy. You're in the same pattern over and over again with that tunnel vision. And these are people that are opening your heart, opening your eyes, opening up your horizons, that there are all kinds of different people out there and all kinds of people you can dip into energies and brainstorm and brain pick. And even if it's not exactly what you are seeing, Maybe they can bring you another solution or maybe can, they can bring you another opportunity or maybe they can open up your perspective and your point of views. Wow, but I think you're really proud of that. Look at that, two times the death card, the devil attached to certain ways that have given you a tunnel vision. And it's not that you're not successful, it is really you attached to those patterns. Maybe it's, you know, 
maybe this this revelation or these truths are moments that are going to open your heart and give you the opportunity to see people, life, opportunities, energies in a different way. And because there are a million different ways and a million approaches to things. Very interesting reading, Aries. Very interesting reading. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aries, weekly, money and career. If you're interested in um, supporting this channel, if you're in the mood, I uh, would love to have you as a member. You can do so by clicking the join button right below. Uh, that'll take you wherever you wish to go. And uh, it will also give you access to a free question during lives. Lives that we do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Would love to have you there, Aries. All right, one last message for the road. Yes, it's very emotional. It's creative yet emotional. So you're attached to certain people, maybe partner, maybe family, family, friends, whatever. There's that joy of being together and that joy of creating together. Just getting out of that pattern. Yes, abundance, creativity, waiting. You've invested a lot. And there's that Queen of Pentacles again three times three times king and queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn very pragmatic very organized a very someone that's great to have by your side because they will find solutions for you they will grab you by the hand and help you out and s sort of steer you in the right direction and help you out in however way they can you will be reaping the fruits of your fruits of your labor you will find abundance and balance in your family, but it's really with the eye opener of this Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. People very abundant, but very um, also very connected to you and connected enough to you to open doors for you and open ways for you so you don't have, you don't stay in that tunnel vision. Wow, beautiful and powerful people. Um, for you, Aries, in this reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for watching these readings, for connecting to these readings and sharing your energies and your journeys. Gratitude, Aries. Gratitude to each and every one from the bottom of my heart. I want to say that the magic word here is... Mm. opening horizons opening opening horizons opening horizons so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for free reading all you have to do is put opening horizons down below in the comment section and be subscribed don't forget to check double check that you are still subscribed even if you've been for a while uh, as YouTube does its little magic um, and also uh, thank you so much if you're just popping in welcome welcome beautiful to have you here and thank you so much for subscribing have a great week Aries take care bye-bye